Hi guys! Welcome sa NG Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang solving Bernoulli's Differential Equations. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay magsasolve ulit tayo ng another type of differential equation which is the Bernoulli's Differential Equations. Okay, dito sa Bernoulli's Differential Equation, mahalaga na alam nyo nang mag-solve ng linear differential equation kasi gagamitin natin yun dito sa pagsasolve ng Bernoulli's Differential Equation. They are somewhat related yung Bernoulli's Differential Equation sa linear differential equation. So, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung video ko about linear differential equation, ay link ko na lang para ma-check nyo. So, Ano ba yung Bernoulli's Differential Equation? When the differential equation takes the form dy over dx plus p of x times y is equal to q of x times y raised to n or dx over dy plus g of y times x is equal to h of y times x raised to n, this is said to be Bernoulli's type of differential equation. So ito raw yung standard form ng ating Bernoulli's Differential Equation. So kung mapapansin nyo, itong part na to, linear differential equation yan, di ba? Kaso, dito sa right side, yung Q of X, nakamultiply siya sa Y raised to N. So, kaya, natransform natin itong linear differential equation into Bernoulli's differential equation, which is this time, non-linear na siya. Okay? Same as kung yung dependent variable nyo naman ay X at yung independent variable nyo ay Y, same lang din, di ba? Ito ay takes the form pa rin ng linear differential equation in X. Kaso, nakamultiply yung right side natin or yung h of y natin sa this time x raised to n. So, therefore, it takes also the form of Bernoulli's differential equation. So, tandaan nyo, kapag nakakita kayo ng ganitong form ng DE, automatically Bernoulli's differential equation yon At isasolve natin tong differential equation base sa ituturo ko sa inyong steps kung paano mag-solve ng Bernoulli's DE. Okay? So, paano ba mag-solve ng Bernoulli's differential equation? So, we have, considering the DE below, so, dy over dx plus p of xy equals q of x times y raised to n. So, automatically, it takes the standard form of Bernoulli's DE. So, next step is multiply both sides by y raised to negative n, thus, okay, so, kapag burn kayong DE na Bernoulli, automatically, laging yung unang step ay, i-divide nyo both sides of the equation by y raised to n or multiply both sides by y raised to negative n kasi same lang naman yun, di ba? Kasi itong y raised to negative n, 1 over y raised to n or same as dividing y raised to n to both sides. So, kapag binultiply natin both sides by y raised to negative n or divide by y raised to n, ito yung kalalabasan niya, right? Which is non-linear. So, ang next step ay itatransform natin itong nabuo nating equation after multiplying both sides by, by y raised to negative n into a linear form. So, gagawin nating linear form yung DE. How? Ang gagawin nating substitution lagi ay let z, so ito yon y raised to 1 minus n. So, kung ano yung katabi nung p of x nyo, yun yung lagi yung ili-let z. And then, i-differentiate nyo both sides. So, derivative nyo tong z, magiging dz over dx is equal to power formula. So, baba natin tong 1 minus n. So, 1 minus n times y raised to, ma-minus nyo ito ng 1. So, cancel si 1. So, y raised to negative n na lang. Okay? Or, pag dinivide nyo both sets by 1 minus n, magiging ganito. 1 over 1 minus n dz over dx is equal to y raised to negative n dy over dx. Tapos, isa-substitute nyo ngayon itong 2 dito sa equation na to. So, papalitan nyo yung y raised to negative n dy over dx nito. So, pag ginawa nyo yun, pag pinalitan nyo to ng 1 over 1 minus n dz over dx, ito yung magiging form nya. Okay? So, pinalitan natin to ng 1 over 1 minus n dz over dx, tapos yung y raised to 1 minus n, pinalitan nyo ng z, then, ito yung magiging kalalabasan nya. Linear na siya, right? And then, the solution will be the same doon sa pagsasolve natin ng linear DE. So, hanapin nyo yung P of X, saka Q of X, and then, yung solution niya magiging Z times e raised to integral ng P of X DX. Ito yung integrating factor natin base dun sa video ko sa linear DE, right? 
and then equal sa integral ng q of x multiply again by the integrating factor and then plus c. And then after nyo ma-evaluate itong integral, which is in terms pa sa z, tsaka nyo substitute back to the original yung substitution na ginawa natin na z is equal to y raised to 1 minus n. Okay, so para maging in terms of x at y uli yung sagot nyo. Okay? So para ma-illustrate yung steps sa pagsisolve ng Bernoulli's differential equation, ay mag-solve tayo ng examples. So for one, we have, find the general solution of the differential equation 2dy over dx minus y over x equals 5x cubed y cubed. Okay? So, divide muna natin to by 2 para nandun tayo sa general form. So, parang dy over dx minus y over 2x is equal to 5x cubed y cubed over 2. Okay? So, ano siya? Anong type siya? Bernoulli automatically kasi meron tayong linear de in y na nakamultiply yung q of x natin which is itong 5x cubed over 2 dito sa y raised to the third power which is yung n natin ay 3. Okay, so ang first step, i-divide natin both sides of the equation by y cubed or multiply by y raised to negative 3. Okay? So, multiply natin both sides by y raised to negative 3. So, magiging distribute y raised to negative 3 dy over dx minus y times y raised to negative 3 over 2x is equal to 5x cubed over 2. So, makakancel natin to. Ito na lang. Simplify, we have y raised to negative 3 dy over dx minus y times y raised to negative 3. Law of exponent, add natin yung exponent nito na 1. Sa negative 3, we have y raised to negative 2 over 2x equals 5x cubed over 2. Okay? Tapos, ang magic substitution natin lagi ay kung ano yung katabi nitong function of x natin na to. ba Parang p of x yan. Okay? Tapos ito ay q of x. So, ang katabi ng p of x, which is itong parang 1 over 2x, right? Itong negative y raised to negative 2 kasi naka-minus tayo. Okay? So, therefore, yun yung ililet natin na z. So, let z be equal to negative y raised to negative 2. Okay? And then, differentiate natin, we have dz is equal to power formula, negative of negative 2, bababa natin. And then, y raised to, imaminus 1 natin to, negative 3. Then, dy. So, we have dz is equal to 2y raised to negative 3 dy. Okay? Ngayon, dito sa original equation natin, meron tayong y raised to negative 3 dy, right? So, therefore, divide natin to by 2 para masubstitute natin yung dz over 2 na lang dito sa y raised to negative 3 dy. Dito sa equation natin. So, therefore, pag punaltan natin to ng dz over 2, itong naka-encircled, we have dz over dx tapos may over 2 pa. Okay? And then, plus... Itong negative y raised to negative 2. Diba? Ito na yun, yung z. So, we have z over. Copy natin tong same expression sa denominator na over 2x equals. Copy lang natin tong q of x na 5x cubed over 2. Okay? And then, para mawala itong numerical coefficient or 1 half dito sa dz over dx, multiply uli natin both sets by 2. So, we have dz over dx distribute natin eto makakancel din si 2 maging plus z over x equals cancel din dito si 2 5x cube na lang okay so linear na siya in z okay so yung bago nating p of x ay yung function na nakamultiply sa z which is itong 1 over x tapos yung q of x natin ay 5x cube okay Ngayon, yung general solution kanina, ba z times e raised to integrating factor na e raised to integral of p of x dx equals integral ng q of x times again sa integrating factor na e raised to integral ng p of x dx dx plus c. 
Okay? So, ano yung integrating factor natin? Solve muna natin. So, integrating factor, ito yun, di ba? E raised to integral ng P of X is 1 over X, then DX. So, we have E raised to integral ng 1 over X times DX, parang DX over X or ln x. Okay? And then, makakancel natin tong E, applying property of logarithm, matitira ay si x. Okay? So, therefore, integrating factor natin ay simply x. So, multiply na natin. We have z times integrating factor, which is x, equals integral ng q of x, which is ito, yung 5x cubed, multiplied pa sa integrating factor na x, dx, and then plus c. Okay, so simplify natin. Zx is equal to integral ng 5x cubed times x is 5x to the fourth dx plus c. So, ano integral nito? Power formula. So, we have 5 times x raised to 4 plus 1 is 5 over 4 plus 1 which is 5 then plus c. Then, cancel. Magiging zx is equal to x to the fifth plus c. Okay? So, nasolve na natin. But this same, ibabalik uli natin itong Z in terms of yung original substitution natin na Z is equal to negative Y raised to negative 2. So therefore, we have negative Y raised to negative 2, X is equal to X to the fifth plus C. So parang ano to? Negative X over Y squared yan, di ba? Equals X to the fifth plus C. Okay, so para walang denominator, Multiply natin both sides by y squared. So, magiging negative x is equal to, so distribute, x to the fifth y squared plus c y squared. Okay? So, therefore, ito na yung solution natin. Negative x equals x to the fifth y squared plus c y squared. Next, we have, dy plus y dx equals 2xy squared e raised to x dx. Okay, so initially hindi natin ma-distinguish kung Bernoulli ba ito kasi hindi siya naka-standard form. So para maging standard form muna tayo, divide natin both sides by dx. So magiging dy over dx plus ito cancel si dx, y equals ito cancel din si dx, magiging 2x e raised to x y squared. So, binaliktad ko lang to. So, therefore, Bernoulli na siya kasi ito ay linear in DE. Tapos, itong Q of x natin, nakamultiply sa y squared, wherein yung n natin ay 2. Okay? So, para masolve to, unang step, multiply natin both sides by y raised to negative 2. Okay? So, multiply natin both sides by y raised to negative 2. So, magiging ano na yan? Distribute y raised to negative 2 dy over dx plus y times y raised to negative 2. So, we have, dito sa right side, makakancel. So, 2x e raised to x na lang. Okay, simplifying further, we have y raised to negative 2 dy over dx plus, law of exponent ulit, add natin yung exponent, same base, 1 plus negative 2 is y raised to negative 1 equals 2x e raised to x. Okay? So, parang ang P of X natin dito, yung nakamultiply dito sa Y raised to negative 1 is simply 1 lang. Tapos yung Q of X natin dito is 2X e raised to X. Okay? Kaso, gagawa pa tayo ng substitution dito. Let Z be equal kung ano yung katabi ng P of X. Which is, ito ba diba, yung Y raised to negative 1. So, laging ganun. So, Y raised to negative 1. And then, derivative ng Z, we have DZ is equal to power formula ulit, babasa yung negative 1. Then, y raised to minus si 1. So, y raised to negative 2. Then, dy. Okay? Tapos, isubstitute natin ngayon tong y raised to negative 2 dy as dz. So, para masolve natin tong y raised to negative 2 dy, divide both sets by negative 1. So, parang negative dz is equal to cancel y raised to negative 2 dy. Okay, so therefore, mapapalitan na natin itong y raised to negative 2 dy dito as negative dz. So, we have negative dz over dx plus itong y raised to negative 1, z na lang equals 2x e raised to x. Okay, so linear na siya in z. Kaso, may negative dito. So, multiply natin both sets by negative 1 para in standard form ng linear de. So, we have dz over dx 
minus z is equal to negative 2x e raised to x. Okay? So, therefore, ang bago natin p of x dito ay itong nakamultiply sa z which is yung negative 1. Tapos, yung bago natin q of x dito is negative 2x e raised to x. So, therefore, ang solution for linear d is z times integrating factor equals integral ng q of x times integrating factor dx plus c. So, yung integrating factor natin is e raised to integral ng p of x dx. So, we have e raised to integral ng p of x is negative 1 multiplied by dx. So, we have e raised integral ng negative 1 dx is simply negative x. Okay, so therefore, ito yung integrating factor natin. Multiply natin sa both sides. So, we have z e raised to negative x equals integral ng q of x is negative 2 x e raised to x multiplied by integrating factor e raised to negative x plus c. So, simplify natin. We have z e raised to negative x equals integral ng itong negative 2. Igilid ko na lang. So, we have negative 2 integral ng x e raised to x times e raised to negative x parang e raised to x minus x yan, right? Or e raised or e raised to 0 or simply e raised to 0 is 1 so cancel so therefore we have negative 2 integral of x so nakalimutan ko yung dx plus c so ito na lang yung integrate natin z e raised to negative x equals to negative 2 integral ng x is x squared over 2 plus c so cancel we have z e raised to negative x is equal to negative x squared plus c and then ibalik natin tong z in terms of y. So, ano ba yung representation natin? Z is equal to y raised to negative 1, right? So, we have y raised to negative 1, e raised to negative x is equal to negative x squared plus c. Or, e raised to negative x over y yan, di ba? Equals negative x squared plus c. So, ito rin, pwede natin itong ibaba. Parang, 1 over y e raised to x na siya equals negative x squared plus c. And then, multiply both sets by the equation by y e raised to x. y e raised to x. So, ang sagot natin, makakancel to. We have 1 is equal to distribute negative x squared y e raised to x plus c y e raised to x. Okay? Next, we have dx minus 2xy dy equals 6x cubed y squared e raised to negative 2 y squared dy. Okay, so hindi uli natin ma-distinguish at first kung Bernoulli nga ba ito, pero pag binivide natin both sets by dy, magiging ano siya, dx over dy minus 2xy, so cancel si dy, equals, cancel din si dy, 6x cubed y squared e raised to negative 2 y squared. Okay, so, rearrange ko lang tong right side para 6y squared e raised to negative 2y squared x cubed siya. So, linear in x siya, right? Kasi ito yung linear de natin in x. Kaso, dahil nakamultiply ka dito sa x raised to the third power, which is yung n natin ay 3, Bernoulli de siya. So, ganun pa na yung gagawin natin. I-divide natin both sets by x cubed or multiply natin both sets by x raised to negative 3. So, we have multiplying both sets by x raised to negative 3. We have eto, distribute natin magiging x raised to negative 3 dy over dx minus 2xy multiplied by x raised to negative 3 equals dito makakancel si negative 3. So, 6y squared e raised to negative 2y squared na lang. Okay? Then, simplify x raised to negative 3, dy over dx, minus 2. etong x times x raised to negative 3, same base. Ito may exponent na 1. So, add natin. Magiging x raised to 1 plus negative 3 or x raised to negative 2. Then, y equals 6y squared e raised to negative 2y squared. Okay. So, ang bago natin, g of y is itong 2y. Okay. Tapos, yung h of y ay itong 6y squared e raised to negative 2y squared. Okay? 
So, automatic, kung ano yung nakamultiply sa G of Y natin, yun yung ililet Z natin. Diba ito yung negative X raised to negative 2? So, therefore, let Z equals negative X raised to negative 2. Then, differentiate natin. DZ is equal to power formula, negative 1 times negative 2, X raised to negative minus 1, 3. Then, DX. Okay? Tapos, simplify natin. DZ is equal to 2X raised to negative 3, DX. Okay, so, itong X raised to negative 3, DY. Ah, sorry, baliktad pala yung nilagay ko. Diba dapat linear tayo in X? DX over DY. DX over DY. Itong X raised to negative 3, DX, papalitan ko netong in terms of DZ. So, divide natin both sides by 2. We have DZ over 2 is equal to X raised to negative 3, DX. So, papalitan natin itong X raised to negative 3, DX ng DZ over 2 dito. So, so, we have the substitution of DZ over 2, then DX plus G of Y na 2Y multiplied by yung substitution natin na negative X raised to negative 2 na Z. So, 2YZ is equal to same as the H of Y na 6Y squared e raised to negative 2Y squared. 6Y squared e raised to negative 2Y squared. So, since meron pa tayong 1 half na factor dito sa dz over dx, multiply natin both sides by 2 para in standard form yung linear d natin in z. So, we have dz over dx plus 4yz is equal to 12y squared e raised to negative 2y squared. So, bali yung g of y natin dito, yung nakamultiply sa z which is yung 4y, tapos yung h of y natin dito ay itong 12y squared e raised to negative 2y squared. So, ang general solution nito ay z integrating factor natin this time is e raised to integral ng g of y dy equals integral ng h of y multiplied by integrating factor e raised to integral ng g of y dy dy plus c. Okay, so, hanapan muna natin yung integrating factor. So, e raised to integral ng g of y is 4y dy so we have so we have e raised to integral ng 4y dy is sagutin na natin 4y squared over 2 or simply e raised to integral ng 2y squared okay so therefore we have multiply natin both sides by this integrating factor we have z e raised to 2y squared equals integral ng itong h of y is 12 y squared e raised to negative 2y squared multiplied by e raised to 2y squared dy plus c. So, we have z e raised to 2y squared equals integral ng itong constant, igilid ko na lang 12. So, we have y squared and then itong e raised to negative y squared times e raised to 2y squared. So, parang makakancel yung exponent, magiging e raised to 0 uli. Or simply 1. So, parang y squared times 1 na lang. So, hindi ko na isasulat. Then, dy plus c. So, z e raised to 2y squared equals. etong integral ng y squared dy is power formula lang. 12 times y raised to 2 plus 1 is 3 over 2 plus 1 is 3 then plus c. So, we have z e raised to 2y squared equals. 12 divided by 3 is 4y cubed plus c. Okay. So, ibalik uli natin itong z in terms of. Yung representation natin. Ano ba yun? Z is equal sa negative x raised to negative 2, right? So, we have negative x raised to negative 2. E raised to 2y squared equals 4y cubed plus c. Okay? Equal siya sa negative e raised to 2y squared over x squared equals 4y cubed plus c. So, pwede natin i-multiply both sides of the equation by negative x squared para mawala yung denominator. So, ito magiging cancel. Positive na. E raised to 2y squared equals distribute negative 4x squared y cubed minus c x squared. Okay? Tapos itong negative sa c, pwede natin ilet na 
c1 na lang equals negative c. So, parang i e to 2y squared equals negative 4x squared y cubed plus c1 x squared. Okay, so therefore, this is the general solution. Okay? Next, we have quantity y to the fourth minus 2xy dx plus 3x squared dy equals 0 when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1. So, meron tayong particular solution dito kasi meron tayong given na value for x at y. So, masasolve natin yung constant. Okay, so, transform muna natin to into Bernoulli equation in standard form. So, pwede natin tong i-divide both sides by try natin dx tapos ito rin yung 3x squared. Okay, so magiging ano na yan. So, dito makakancel si dx. Matitira is y to the fourth minus 2xy over 3x squared plus ito makakancel magiging dy over dx na lang equal 0. So, rearrange ko lang ha. Unahin ko tong dy over dx plus ito distribute ko. So, y to the fourth over 3x squared minus 2xy over 3x squared equal 0. So, we have dy over dx. Ito transpose ko dito kasi parang siya yung magiging q of x natin eh. Ito, simplify ko minus 2. Cancel dito yung isang x. So, y over 3x equals, and then ito nga negative, 1 over 3x squared y to the 4th. Okay, so, obviously, Bernoulli linear in y. Tapos, meron tayong nakamultiply na y raised to the 4th or n natin ay 4. Okay, so, multiply natin both sides by y raised to negative 4. Kagaya ng steps natin, we have eto distribute, magiging y raised to negative 4, dy over dx, then minus 2y over 3x times y raised to negative 4 equals, eto makakancel, negative 1 over 3x squared. Simplify, y raised to negative 4, dy over dx minus y times y raised to negative 4 is, 1 plus negative 4 is 2y raised to negative 3 over 3x equals negative 1 over 3x squared. Okay, so yung p of x natin dito bale ay itong 2 over 3x. Tapos yung q of x natin is negative 1 over 3x squared. So laging ililet z natin yung katabi ng p of x which is itong negative y raised to negative 3. So, negative y raised to negative 3 we have differentiate natin tong z we have dz is equal to negative 1 multiplied by negative 3 y raised to minus 1 negative 4 dy so we have dz is equal to 3 y raised to negative 4 dy so since gusto natin mapalitan itong y raised to negative 4 dy ng dz divide natin to both sets by 3 so we have dz over 3 is equal to Cancel y raised to negative 4 dy. So, palitan natin itong y raised to negative 4 dy nitong dz over 3 dito. So, we have dz over 3 and then itong dx copy plus itong 2 over 3x, 2 over 3x and then itong negative y raised to negative 3. Z na, Z na nga lang siya. So, we have equal to negative 1 over 3x squared. Okay, so linear na siya in Z pero para in standard form, multiply ba natin by 3 kasi may 3 pa siya sa denominator. So we have dz over dx plus distribute, cancel si 3 magiging 2 over xz is equal to cancel din si 3 magiging negative 1 over x squared. Okay, so yung bago nating P of x is katabi ng Z na 2 over x. Tapos yung Q of X natin is itong negative 1 over X squared. So, general solution ng linear DE is Z times integrating factor equals integral ng Q of X times integrating factor DX plus C. Hanapin muna natin yung integrating factor equal yung sa E integral ng P of X DX. So, we have E integral ng P of X is itong 2 over X DX. So, we have e raised to integral ng 2 over x dx. So, parang 2 integral ng dx over x or simply 2 
L and X, right? So, we have e raised to. Tapos, itong 2, itaas natin. Parang e raised to L and X squared. Power rule for logarithm. And then, makakancel itong e raised to L and magiging X squared na lang. So, therefore, integrating factor natin ay X squared. So, magiging Z times X squared equals integral ng Q of X is negative 1 over X squared times X squared times dx plus c. So, parang negative of integral ng cancel to dx na lang. Okay? Plus c. So, we have zx squared equals... So, we have negative integral ng dx is negative x, right? So, negative x plus c. And then, it transform back natin itong z in terms of original representation natin na ano? Negative y raised to negative Three, right? So, therefore, we have negative y raised to negative 3, x squared is equal to negative x plus c. Okay, so, simplify natin. Okay, so, meron tayong given na when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1. So, so solve natin yung c by substituting this value sa x at y. So, we have negative of y is 1 raised to negative 3 x is 2 so we have 2 squared equals negative x is 2 plus c so we have 1 raised to negative 3 is simply 1 over 1 cube or 1 pa rin tapos times negative is negative 1 so negative times 2 squared is negative 4 is equal to negative 2 plus c so transpose ko dito si negative 2 we have negative 4 plus 2 is equal to c or c is equal to negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2 so, therefore, our final answer will be negative y raised to negative 3, x squared is equal to negative x minus 2. So, simplify pa natin tong form niya. So, etong y raised to negative 3, gawin natin to negative x squared over y cube, right? Equals negative x minus 2. Then, multiply natin both sides by negative y cube para makancel yung denominator. So, magiging positive x squared is equal to positive x y cube plus 2 y cube. Okay, so therefore, this is the final answer. Okay, so I think that's it for this video, Bernoulli's DE. So, sundin nyo lang yung steps na tinuro ko sa inyo para mag-solve ng Bernoulli's DE once na-encounter nyo yon at mag-practice lang kayo para mas maging madali sa inyo yung pagsasolve ng kahit anong DE. Okay, so sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panunood.